Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel Natsmenya Igorota. So today we're gonna talk about why these decorations are here. So it's because of the Russian Easter celebration. So in so many countries, Christmas is generally considered the most important Christian festival. But in Russia, it's Easter that takes pride of place. Easter is a time when the faithful and atheist alike, young and old, city dwellers and country folk attend Easter Mass. But Easter in Russia is a lot more than just a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a long and powerful tradition which even the communists couldn't get rid of. Easter cleanses our souls and thoughts, bringing peace, joy, and hope. And it's a time when Russians look forward to a happy family feast with lots of special Easter food like Easter bread, traditional cheesecake, Easter eggs, and other tasty treats. Here in Russia, Easter is usually celebrated later than in the West because Easter dates are determined by different calendars. The Russian Orthodox Church uses the old Julian calendar, while the Roman Catholic and Protestant churches switches to the Gregorian calendar in the 16th century. The Russian Orthodox Church celebrates Easter in a special way. So, on the eve of Easter Sunday, people put on their best clothes and come together in without the light of faith. In the past, Satanic creatures were believed to turn specially evil on the night before Easter. People didn't go outside after sunset, as they feared every cat could be a witch and every dog a devil. A church was a safe shelter, though. At midnight, ringing church bells announced the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Priests appear at the altar, crucifix and candles in hand. Solemnly singing, they walk around the church. Everyone lights their candles and follows the procession. The Orthodox liturgical chant creates a very special atmosphere. The Mass goes on till dawn. When the church bell starts ringing, the singing gets louder. And finally, the priest tells everybody to forgive each other and seal their forgiveness with a hug and a kiss. Busy time in most Russian homes. After a spring clean, it's time to bake Easter bread. Eggs are painted on a holy Thursday and fresh Easter cakes, which is called Pashka, are prepared on Saturday. But it's a time of fasting, so tasting food during cooking is forbidden. Everyone is looking forward to the feast. Easter day starts with a lonely breakfast. The table is decorated with fresh flowers, pussy willow, gorse painted eggs which are only eaten at Easter, there's lots of other foods on the table like sausages, bacon, cheese, milk, and so many more. Everything that was prohibited during the 40-day fast. However, the feast starts with a simple piece of aromatic Easter bread. Sharing food at Easter has a long tradition in Russia. After breakfast, people visit friends and neighbors, exchanging eggs and Easter breads. It's also common practice to visit cemeteries and bring eggs, breads, and beer to the graves to let deceased loved ones enjoy the feast. Well, in the past, only men were allowed to ring church bells. Bell ringing could be heard everywhere, creating a joyful atmosphere. Men played harmonicas, watching the girls have fun on swings. There was a lot of flirting going on. <laughs> It's still very popular to roll Easter eggs along the ground or down a hill. The aim is to break the eggs of other players without damaging your own. Farmers believe that rolling eggs keeps the soil fertile. Painted eggs are an international Easter symbol. In Russia, Easter eggs are believed to possess magic powers, protect crops against weather damage, keep cattle healthy, and ward off evil spirits. An Easter egg hidden in the foundation of a house will bring the owners happiness and prosperity. They even say, you can make yourself look younger by rolling an Easter egg over your face. Traditional Easter eggs are red, though you can use other colors. Spinach dyes eggs green while beetroot gives them a red tint. So some people would color it green. They take on a nice shine if rubbed with vegetable oil. 
Eventually, people started making and painting wooden eggs, porcelain, gold, silver, and gemstone eggs. It is very precious. The most exquisite ones today are the imperial Easter eggs designed by the world-famous jeweler Peter Karl Faberde for the Russian royal family. Whatever you do this Easter, we hope you have a great time. I honestly don't have any idea why are we celebrating Easter with eggs and bunnies and everything that is fascinating so i just got mesmerized amazed with the talents that people have to do these paintings of eggs and decorating the streets the parks and so i came across this article which states about why do we celebrate easter the significance of it the history and the meaning of easter eggs so i came across this and thank you to hindustan times here we go the story behind Easter lies in the New Testament of the Bible, which narrates how Jesus was arrested by the Roman authorities because he claimed to be the Son of God and later crucified. His resurrection three days later marks the occasion of Easter. Easter is a Christian festival which celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The holiday falls uh, between March 22nd until April 25 for the Gregorian calendar and in Eastern Orthodox Church it should be May 2nd for this year. So the holiday is celebrated all across the globe but this feast is a movable feast. It doesn't have a fixed date. And according to the New Testament of the Bible, Easter occurs three days after the crucifixion of Jesus by Romans. Easter concludes the Passion of Christ, which begins with a 40 days period of fasting. Lent and is concluded by the Holy Week. Holy Thursday, it's the celebration of Jesus' Last Supper. And the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on Good Friday is a part of the Holy Week, which ends on Easter Sunday. The Easter Eggs Chocolate-filled eggs or brightly painted eggs with sweets inside are common gifts exchanged on Easter. People chose to loosen their purse, strings, and splurge on the Easter weekend as the celebrations arrived after a 40-day Lent period. Some examples of non-religious Easter traditions include a treasure hunt, like search for Easter eggs and games such as egg rolling and egg decorating. And boiled. Let's see what's inside. Maybe it's something like colored. Indeed, it was. Never had something like this in the Philippines. Never? Yeah. Right, you know, it's tasty, but... Never had. So the color got inside because of its crack. It was cracked when it was boiling, so the color went in, and it's like that. Mm. All right, so yeah, mayonnaise. <laughs> so hey, it's new. I'm gonna send you the link later about what I did with this Priyanka. Huh? We'll send this video to the family. To you? 
Yeah. So, while I'm having a free, nice conversation with my employer, I just want to get back to these Easter symbols and traditions thing. So, Easter traditions and symbols have evolved over time, though some have been around for centuries, while to Christians, Easter is the celebration of the resurrection of Christ. Many Easter traditions are not found in the Bible, which I believed in so much. The most prominent secular symbol of the Christian holiday, the Easter Bunny, was reportedly introduced to America by a German immigrant who brought over decorate, decorated eggs and decoration of eggs and their stories of an egg-laying hare. It is believed to date back to at least 13th century, while the rite of the Easter parade has even older roots. Other traditions, such as the consumption of Easter candy, are among the modern addition to the celebration of this early springtime holiday. Well, the Bible makes no mention of a long-eared, short-tailed creature who delivers decorated eggs to well-behaved children on Easter Sunday. Nevertheless, the Easter Bunny has become a prominent symbol of Christianity's most important holiday. The exact origins of this mythical mammal are unclear, but rabbits, known to be prolific procreators, are an ancient symbol of fertility and new life. According to some sources, the Easter Bunny first arrived in America in the 1700s with German immigrants who settled in Pennsylvania and transported their tradition of an egg-laying hare called Osterhase or Osterhaus. Their children made nests in which this creature could lay its colored eggs. Eventually, the custom spread across the U.S. and fabled rabbits' Easter morning deliveries expanded to include chocolate and other types of candy and gifts, while decorated baskets replaced nests. Additionally, children often left out carrots for the bunny in case he got hungry from all his hopping. Well, did you know? The largest Easter egg ever made was over 25 feet high and weighed over 8,000 pounds. It was built out of chocolate and marshmallow and was supported by an internal steel frame. Let's get back to Easter eggs. Easter is a religious holiday, but some of its customs, such as Easter eggs, are likely linked to pagan traditions. The egg, an ancient symbol of new life, has been associated with pagan festivals celebrating spring. In some sources, one explanation for this custom is that eggs were formerly a forbidden food during the Lenten season, so people would paint and decorate them to mark the end of the period of penance and fasting. Then eat them on Easter as a celebration. Easter egg hunts and, and even egg rolling are two popular egg-related traditions in the U.S. The White House Easter egg roll, a race in which children push decorated hard-boiled eggs across the White House lawn, is an annual event held on the Monday after Easter. The first official White House egg rolling occurred in 1878 when Rutherford B. Hayes was president. The event has no religious significance at all, although some people considered egg rolling symbolic of the stone blocking Jesus' tomb being rolled away, leading to his resurrection. I just don't know otherwise. Easter is the second uh, best-selling candy holiday in America has, has been after Halloween. Among the most popular sweet treats associated with this day are chocolate eggs, which date back to early 19th century in Europe. In this part of the video, you have seen me opening up and cutting up this um, Russian bread, which is called kulich, or sometimes called pashka. Kulich is a sweet bread that every Russian family eats for Easter. It's an unbreakable tradition. It is sweet rich and buttery yellow colored flesh studded with all kinds of great things like golden raisins candied citrus peel and almond 
and many more things that you could put you could also put some jelly beans something that could be in your liking uh, well for me it was my first time to eat this kind of bread which is called college and it was really really dry and i needed something to drink after each bite but indeed it was sweet and buttery but i don't know why maybe it's because it has no eggs in it that it has become so dry but with the tea it becomes perfect When it's on your mouth, it's gonna melt. It's just sugar. 